How does Anthony compare the use of the term racist back in the 90s compared to now? Noticing the border invasion is called racist, even though Al Sharpton is calling it an invasion. Does Ant care if he's called racist? Me thinks no, no. you don't care. First of all, no. I, I really don't care. Um, these days, it's a badge of honor. It means you're speaking your mind openly. It doesn't even mean you're racist. Uh, racist used to kind of mean something. <clears throat> I think there was always the playing of the race card thing. But uh, if you were called a racist, there had better have been a good reason that someone was calling you that. Uh, nowadays, I mean, black people are called white supremacists. This isn't a joke. This isn't like a one-off instance of some nut calling a black person a uh, white supremacist. This happens all the time. Uh, that's insane. <laughs> that is retarded, if I may uh, use the term. Uh, so the racists, kind of the same thing. They will call you a racist for just mentioning things about race. Uh, it's the easiest way to try to get someone canceled is you'll, what it is. You'll get called a racist if the person you're uh, talking to feels like they're losing the argument. Yes, it, yes. It that. may not have anything to do with anything you've said or done. Absolutely. And and liberal whites can call you a racist. Uh, black people could call you a racist. It doesn't matter who they are. It's a good label. It's a scarlet letter on you that is supposed to attach to you and stay there and prevent you from being able to speak your mind, work, uh, go to school. Uh, these are the it's it's a cancellation tag that they want to uh, put on you. So they use it quite liberally, if I may uh, just. Is this I wonder if this is a topic you went into uh, more deeply in your book, but you know, people say all the time, you're one of the OG people of being canceled. Anthony was canceled before it was cool was oh, the first yeah. ever to be canceled. Uh, thoughts on do, it's almost like, how could, do you feel better now that it's been all these years later? So many more people have been canceled. It takes less to be canceled. <laughs> it's more in vogue. Uh, the, the insults are more and more increasingly meaningless. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I do enjoy it. I, I kind of like that. There's some vindication in it, too, uh, in that, you know, when I was canceled and fired from Sirius XM, uh, I was just talking about something that is so blatantly obvious right now. I said that there's a problem with this jump to violence in the black community. Uh, and, you know, that was viciously racist. Uh, now you look and there's a problem with this jump to violence in the black community. So there's some vindication there. As far as other people getting canceled, I like that it's kind of come back to where people don't care as much anymore. And I was kind of at the forefront of that, uh, not giving a shit if you're canceled, going your way, making something uh, of it uh, like compound media. Uh, you look at something like Shane Gillis, uh, you know, SNL has invited him to be a host. Um, he was at the last minute told he couldn't be a cast member and writer for SNL because of some previous racist remarks he made on a comedy show. Um, and this time around, TMZ put out a clip of him and they're still trying. They're still trying to cancel people, but it just doesn't work as well. I don't think the cancellation thing works as well anymore. Um, as it used to. So I kind of like seeing that happening um, these days. This is a hilarious headline with Shane Gillis uh, out of NBC. With Shane Gillis returned to SNL, Asians ask when they'll stop being the punchline. No really, Asian we're, is we're, asking. I, no Asian. First of all, I think if Asians are asking this at all, they're asking it. When are we going to stop being punched on the New York City subways? Uh, uh, yeah, Boston. yeah, yeah. That's more important than Shane Gillis uh, going ching chong chow. <laughs> yeah they can't even pronounce his last name they're not worried about him <laughs> there is an idea that asians will take it and have to just be obedient and have a smile on our face one asian american comedian said shut up <laughs> shut it. up god it's so old and tired it's this so tired. victim bullshit it's he's a comedian he says the, the clip that uh, TMZ played also was from Compound Media when a fair one was yes! on and he was on there. Holy shit. I got to find that. That yeah. was great. I was so 
So excited and when he's when saying I things like, put on some conservative stuff. I want to hear him talk about Jews. I want to hear that. He was goofing on compound media and me. Yes. He was making a joke that I'm such a right wing mental patient that he needs to talk like that on my platform. So he was being sarcastic. It was mm -hmm. funny because he was saying, get Fox News on. I don't want to watch this CNN fag stuff. It was like an inside joke, really. Yes, and anybody who it was a is joke, familiar but they with use Compound. It. Yeah. And then TMZ puts it on like, oh, let's try to get him. Fuck off, man. It's so infuriating and, and old. It's just old hat now to try to cancel somebody with some previous stuff they did or said, especially in the context of comedy. <laughs> this was great. I love He's this great. so much. Yeah, this is uh, just a couple days ago, on February 6th. Shane Gill's controversial remarks are coming back to haunt him. Come, first of all, it's like not it's not coming back to no. haunt him. There are people who are trolls, and just like yeah. what led to Shane's being firing the fired from SNL the first time, they sit and they wait for people they don't yeah. like to get opportunities, and then they send shit out to places like TMZ to cause a stir to try to get yep. him fired from Bud Light or fired from the hosting gig at SNL. It's right. not like it's resurfacing. It's like you you got to have someone who hates you go out of their way to find right. this and send it to an outlet. A mental patient, yeah. A mental patient. A jealous, sad person with a small yes, penis. Yes, very Ryder sad. The bus didn't show up for two hours. We were all sitting and on the bus. And this is Drew Magner speaking at the beginning here. One of our beloved booth boys yes. at Compound Media. Hot bus for two hours. Was he a white guy? Driver. Nah, he was. Yeah, no, I'm kidding. Ethnic. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Compound media, dude. We. I like that they they the uh the subtitles pick up and say Bro, they make it say calm, calm down, down media. media. Thanks. Well, I'm I'm really trying to like make it more acceptable, so I'm changing it to calm down media. We're gonna yes. all be chill and Kinder, talk about things like public. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Any like racial PBS. slurs. Yes, it'll be like <laughs> NPR. We will put the N in NPR. Mm. It'll be... yeah, thanks for the fucking uh, plug, assholes. Yeah. Now, media, dude, we in the house, baby. <laughs> white people, white people, <laughs> white people, white people. Why the f is uh, CNN on in here? It's always you guys <laughs> gay now. <laughs> put on Fox, dude. This is right wing white. <laughs> get this CNN you can tell how old this clip is because it's before people were kind of. Uh, disenchanted by fox like fox was still seen yes yes it was still the right wing crazy conservative thing but you could tell what he's doing here he's just he's goofing on compound calm down mm -hmm. media and the fact that you know we're all a bunch of uh crazy right wing conservative mental patient it's a joke he's doing yeah, he's a joke making here. fun of the stereotypes yes. <laughs> <laughs> i need some alt-right Fox News, dude. Yo, Rafe, I f with that, dude. F that face. Oh, oh, wait. No, wait, you've been at heavy with that. And they're like, uh, this next song was because uh, it was a real sad song. And we wrote it because uh, 2016 was such a hard year for us because of the election. Oh, this was a concert he went to. <laughs> I, I was like, <laughs> you know, these guys are so f gay. And it was, I turned around uh, to this chick that I'm seeing and I was like, Yo, I fucking love Donald Trump. <laughs> and she, she's young and like, you know, she's young. So she's like, what? what did you say? Is this the first she's hearing of this? She knows. I know. She knows. This is the first time I genuinely turned to her and was like, for real. This, People these, love Shane because he is just a real person. I think like 90% yep. of the time I'm like, man, I wish someone else was the president. He's yeah. just a real, genuine, authentic dude. Uh, yeah. He's a guy. He it. finds guy stuff funny. He finds using the word gay great, like in context of your friend is being the gay driver of or the movie busting. is gay. Like that's that's a guy. Sorry. The community comedic note on this is Shane Gillis' comedic approach is largely based on an interpretation and satirization of white culture. While art oh. is open to interpretation, to willfully ignore his body of work can be misleading. He also alludes to his pro progressivism, often including his most recent special. You know what? How do I get in on this community note situation? I'd be like, it was obvious he's making fun of the stereotypes about compound media, you yeah. fucking morons. Yeah, yeah, that would be a nice...
I'm going to rate <laughs> nice this. Nice way to put no, it. No, I'm rating this oh, not helpful. At least they put something there. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's uh, Shane's great. And, yeah, he, he's very successful now. He packs places when he, he uh, performs. And uh, I think that's such a good thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. good guy. He he rose to fame uh, without the help of SNL. He st again, when you have yeah. scruples and you stick to your guns and you have right. a set of values, uh, you can actually flourish from a, a cancellation. Yeah, like he Shane didn't did with SNL. He didn't say, you know, after they told him he wasn't going to be a, a part of SNL. He didn't. I want to apologize for my statements. It's not what's in my heart. I, I, I'm not this person. I hate those, those groveling, sniveling apology, the self fucking, sh you're just shitting all over who you really are. You, some people, they say something one day, they get all kinds of shit. The next day they're with one of those apologies. It's like what yesterday you didn't really feel that way. You didn't think that, you know, what all of a sudden in off one day. It's exactly like you're dating someone you don't really like. You've been fighting all night, and then they force you into an apology at 2 a.m. You, you don't mean it. You don't care. You literally now, just want it to be over. Now you're just full of resentment. You don't believe what you're saying at all. You're like, can you just shut the fuck up so I can go to bed? That is how all of these apologies come and how does that work? how does that work out? You wind up resenting that person for making you capitulate like that, and you hate yourself for backing down and apologizing for something you never meant to apologize for. So it's the same exact thing. Yeah. It, it, no good comes of it. And by the way, they don't then give you the job or, or, uh, you know, take away, uh, uh, their hatred of you and disdain for you and what you do. They just want you to grovel. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, one of the first people I saw do that was the great Don Imus. If you remember Imus, <laughs> oh, when he said yes, nappy headed hoes, <laughs> and then he uh, he went on Reverend Al's show. He went on an apology tour. It was one of the most degrading things I ever saw. Uh, and he's he's talking to uh, Reverend Al, and he's like, "Well, I, I'm so I'm sorry I said that. I I apologize for uh, saying that." And why he wound up he wound up being off the air for a while. They put him back on, but. Uh, it wasn't because of a groveling apology to Reverend Al Sharpton. No, it never works, people. Don't it's apologize. It's just so they can put a, a, a shame stamp on your head. You're yes. not going to get your job back. You're not going to get your dignity right. ba back. So you might as well just say, fuck them and, and just ride with it. Yeah. Let it ride. Let it ride. Double down.